I would like to wish Mazel Tov to my fellow honorees. Doug and Carrie, you have done an amazing job in the most difficult time. My fellow Gabais, what can I say? Leah, Gotti, and Michael, you have done so much for the shul and made my job so easy. If people really knew how much you really did, you'd be honored. Oh wait, being a Gabai for the Hebrew Institute of White Plains is an incredible honor and privilege. I want to mention two former Gabais that I have learned so much from, Ezra Berkowitz and Dr. Judah Rohr. Your dedication and mentorship have meant so much to me. Thank you to Rabbi Martyr for being a great leader and friend. I want to thank Shoshana for always encouraging me to go to Minyan, which led me to becoming Gabai in the first place. Thank you to my children who met and fell in love as Gabais at Penn OCP. Thanks to my parents and brothers for always making it fun to go to Shul. I would like to conclude by thanking the entire HI community. So many of you contribute in so many ways and set such a great example for what a Jewish community should be. Thanks again for this wonderful honor. Thank you to the 2021 Gala Committee for choosing to honor the current presidents and Gabayim this year and for all of your hard work to make this year's gala a success. Thank you to my fellow honorees, to Doug and Kara, a former Gabay and a renowned immunologist, the two most perfect patient presidents to navigate the shoal through a rebuild and a global pandemic. To Team Gabay, Leah with her wisdom, Michael with his words, and Bobby with his puns, I can't think of a better team to work the crazy with. Thank you for being awesome. To all of the past HI Gabayim whom I have worked with or been inspired by, to Bert Rosensack Zatzal, Chaim Ezra Berkowitz, Dr. Rohr, Bernie Adler, Doug, and Dean, to the Gabais of Women's Tvila, to Herbert and Terry, and all of the supporting cast of characters that do so much of the heavy lifting to make every day of every week possible, to all of the laners and daveners, leaders and canopy builders who have stepped up and continue to step up, whether it was volunteered or coerced, thank you. To all of you who come to Shul, whether in person or this past year over Zoom, you give the Gabai job meaning. To Rabbi Martyr for your leadership and guidance. To my dad, one of many Rabbi Rams, but the only one to have given me my first Gabai gig. To my mom, who taught me that Gabayim don't get complaints, only strongly worded suggestions. And finally, Acharon Acharon Chaviv to my family, Jana, Benny, Ilan, and Ori. Each and every one of you has been called upon in our community to lane or to daven or to gabai or to be there for our shul. Thank you for sharing the job with me all of these years. I feel very lucky to have found the Hebrew Institute of White Plains. It's such a rare and unique place and I'm always reminded of how special it is. Growing up, my shul experience was all about the people. They were really my closest family and support. And the people of the Hebrew Institute give me that same feeling of home. Working with Gadi and Michael and Bobby has taught me what it looks like when partnership and teamwork actually work. Team Gabai members have strong feelings and opinions, and we discuss them with mutual respect. And we are all willing to pitch in and work together. And we make it fun. This past year has taught me that you never know what is coming at you next, and that's the challenge. You just need to roll with what you've got and make it work the best way you can. A huge thank you to David and Eliana for being so patient with me and all of my Gabai talk. I feel so proud to be a part of this year's amazing slate of honorees, and I thank each and every one of them for their devotion, for their immense caring, and for their friendship. When I agreed to become Gabai, it wasn't because I expected to be honored. It's honestly because I just enjoy davening more when I run it. Being Gabai is my way of contributing to making sure that our tefillah runs with the right mix of communal participation and skillful davening and laning. It's orchestrating a tefillah that balances what every member of our community is looking for so that we can collectively create an experience that's meaningful to each of us. But it's definitely a team sport. Shul would not happen every day and week and could not have survived this past year without the tireless efforts of my partners, Leah, Gadi, and Bobby, Rabbi Martyr, Doug, and Kara, Terry and Herbert, and the rest of the members of this wonderful community who consistently volunteer your time and skill. So thank you all. I also want to thank my parents, who taught me by example the value of a life of service to the Jewish community. And of course my children, who have all caught the Gabai bug and make me proud every day. And of course Idana, who's listened to more hours of davening talk than anyone should ever have to be subjected to. Thank you all.